Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tasting Notes. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Edison's Rio Bravo, a sativa strain. It's their name for Wabanaki. So yeah, Rio Bravo by Sativa. This particular batch that we're looking at, as you can see, is 19.8%. This is a Sativa dominant strain. We are going to see how this goes. All right, boys and girls, let's get ready. Now, the first thing we need to look at is, of course, our packaging. So not looking too darn bad. Um, looks appropriate. Seems slightly excessive to start. Uh, for a one gram package, this seems a little bit much. Um, that is okay though. So we're going to see how the product inside goes. Initially, a little bit much on the packaging. Um, is there anything novel or exciting about this packaging, however? So it does have a beautiful heat seal. Feel a nice pop. Ooh, this guy comes with a moisture pack. So that's a nice little touch. I like the fact that it comes with a moisture pack. That's impressive. So first look, that's actually going to get me a little bit of points for novelty. We're going to give that a plus two for novelty. I am happy to have received a moisture pack in this container. So my first look of the actual cannabis is Nothing overly shockingly impressive. Let's see if I can get a bit of a light on this guy. Nothing overly shockingly impressive. It is the product. It'll do the trick. Um, but there's nothing stunning about it. So it's going to get a zero. It's not the most beautiful bud, but it's also not the ugliest I've ever seen. Um, did perhaps receive one extra point, though, there for the moisture pack being involved. So I really appreciate that. However, first look on the actual cannabis itself still receives a zero. So we're right in there in the middle ground. Looks like what it's supposed to. Nothing surprising, nothing disappointing. So that's a good thing. Uh, now, in terms of our first smell. <sighs> well, it certainly smells uh, fresher than some of the others that I've tried. I'll also note that this particular batch was packaged on the, packaged on the, what are we looking at here? The 3rd of January this year, 3rd of January, 2020. So realistically, this guy is only about three, well, about four months old. So it's not too bad in terms of getting here. First smell, that is going to get a one. It's fairly appealing. There's nothing overwhelming about it. Some of the strains out there, you take that first sniff and you just go, wow. This one does not give me the wow factor, but it's pretty nice. So, all right. Next, we are moving into our product weight. Did we get what we paid for? So we've got our scale. It is, of course, zeroed out. We're going to dump everything that came in this here container into that there package. And hey, Look at that. We are 1.1 grams. So we actually got a little bit extra in this batch. This guy's going to score one more point for that. So 1.1 grams. Awesome. I'm happy to get a little bit extra. That seldom happens. Now, I could equate this to some extent to the moisture pack. I'm wondering if everybody's putting in a little bit more so that when it's super dry, it weighs out to the right amount. Um, this one, keeping its moisture, came in at 1.1 grams. That's pretty awesome. All right. Um, so yeah, got a little bit more than I paid for. That's pretty fantastic. Now we are going to examine our trim quality a little bit. So I'm going to stash one or two of these buds so I can take some photos. Um, but we're going to just look at this trim quality. Now it's not the most beautiful trim quality. Um, it is a little bit scraggly, this particular product. Now, if you know anything about the strain Wabanaki, it grows very scraggly. So because this product looks still a little bit scraggly, but it's supposed to grow a little bit scraggly, sativas have a tendency to grow a little thinner, less dense. Um, nothing's wrong with this. So it's not the finest trim quality. It doesn't look like it's been butchered. If this was a heavy indica, I would be very disappointed, but this is looking pretty good for a nice skinny, easy sativa. So yeah, we're going to move forward with that guy with a one pointer. 
Now, our zoom in view, and if all goes well, I will of course have, once again, our macro views on the screen for you guys, but we're gonna take a zoom in view. First, I'm gonna take a look at this guy here at the 30 time magnification, and I gotta say, it's not looking too bad. There's definitely some trachome development. Looks like everything is still fairly intact but they do look a little bit young. So we're gonna take a closer look under the 60 time magnification and see if that gets more impressive. And I do recommend everyone, if you guys are really trying to evaluate your cannabis, that you do obtain a jeweler's loop. Uh, it does assist you in really getting in there and seeing what's going on. You can check for bugs, you can check for mold and mites and all the other delicious stuff that you hope not to find. But you can also check your terpene development and your trichome growth levels. So right now that's what I'm looking for. And I'm seeing some pretty good trichomes in there. It's, um, it's fairly mature. It grew to a good level, right? So it grew to a very nice level. Um, I don't see anything problematic with it. Uh, so we're going to say this one is a three. It could have potentially been a little bit nicer. It's got some good color. Um, trichomes do see a little bit of variation, so I'll see spots where there's lots of trichomes and lots of uh, development in those trichome heads, and then the others where it looks like they've been shaved off or broken a little bit. So keep that at a three. Now, in terms of our moisture, now I'm gonna guess that this is why there is a moisture pack in these guys, so that it passes my next test because I want to find out, does this stuff just puff away when I squish it? And I'm hoping that it does not. So we're going to bring these guys over here. We're going to give this guy just a little bit of a squish. Oh, look at that. I squish it with my fingers and it, yeah, it crumbles off into a couple of bigger chunks, but no dust at all. That is exactly where I want this to be. It's, it feels like a plant still. Um, it's not damp. It's not moist, it's not wet, but it's appropriately humidified. So we're going to go with a five on that guy. That scored real well today. Now, density, perhaps we'll find out how this really goes. Um, now we're looking for, well, I got a little bit of a dirty grinder, but that's okay. It'll still work for our purposes here today. So we're going to stuff all this stuff here. Oh, geez, into the grinder. Give all this stuff a stuff into our grinder. I'm going to give this a couple of turns to see how this goes. Give that a squish down. One, two, three. At the end of three grinds, the product is definitely falling through the grinder. So it's, uh, that's pretty nice. That's about where I want it to be. It's not over dense. It's not under dense. Left me a beautiful, beautiful milled product there. So that is looking pretty nice, looking pretty good all around. Now, um, on that guy, density is going to get its, it's going to get its, uh, yeah, it's going to get zero points on that. It is about where I expected it to be. Um, could have been a little bit stickier for my taste, potentially, that uh, the, the humidity and the moisture definitely suggested it might have been a stickier product, but at this point, we're good to go. Okay, uh, next up, our terpene check. Now, I should be finding, on this particular batch, I should be finding terpenoline, caryophylline, I should be finding some myrcene and some pinene. Am I going to smell those? Definitely. Ooh, definitely getting the, the pinene and a little bit of that caryophylline. The terpenoline and the myrcene are less obvious, but I'm getting a little bit of citrus. So we're going to say this guy definitely does pass our terpene check. It passes in the capacity that it smells pretty appealing and pretty true to profile. Um, it's got more smell to it than some of the others. And I'm going to equate that once again to the moisture pack. I think that's a very good addition. So we're going to give that guy a three. This is scoring very well so far. Very well. Nicely done, Edison. You guys are doing a good job. 
Now, next up is my favorite part, the taste. The taste, how does this Rio Bravo Wabanaki smoke for us? Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm curious to see if some of those flavors actually come through into the smoke. It is reputed to be a floral, lemony, piney type of flavor. We're going to see if that is in fact the case. So as always, I'm going to light up my little hemp wick here. And once again, these are just little wicks made of hemp coated in some beeswax to assist them in their burning. Makes them much like a candle wick. Um, very good for not imparting additional flavor into your cannabis. Hmm. Definitely a touch of that floral. I'm not sensing huge amounts of pine or lemon, but it's got a nice floral flavor. Um, it's fairly light, fairly easy smoking, good flavor. And I'm getting pretty good longevity out of this bowl. Um, Again, I'm going to equate that to the moisture content. This is this is smoking really nice. Definitely some good longevity from that bowl. Mmm, taste. We're going to go up to about a two on the taste there. Um, I didn't have anything super exciting. It didn't have a great flavor profile in terms of what I might find most palatable. Still very tasty, still very good. So we're going to give that guy a two. The smoke quality is also fantastic. Um, I think that's equated largely again to the moisture relative humidity of this particular product. I think I'm still getting a decent, decent hoot out of that. That's been going for a while. So thank you, Hempwick. You turned out at exactly the right moment. And yeah, that was, that was quite nice. Um, smoke quality. That's going to get like a three on the smoke quality. That was very smooth, very smooth, decent smoke. Pretty darn good. Um, the ash. Oh yes, the ash, the ash, the ash. Can you tell it's a sativa? <laughs> so for our ash, let's see how she looks. Definitely. Oh geez. Oh geez. Silly toothpick. Definitely nice and white. So that I'm going to say is definitely a nice white flaky ash. That definitely is going to get our two points on our ash score. Nothing tarry and disgusting and gross about that. So yeah, that's going to get our two points on our ash score. So that's pretty nice. Two points on ash. Okay. In terms of effects, as mentioned, I can definitely tell this is a sativa strain. I am... I'm feeling energized. This is uh, this is a very nice product. I'm pretty happy with this in terms of smoke quality, moisture quality. This went really well. Now, a caveat to this: the first product I ever bought on the legal market was an Edison product very early on, and that was prior to them heat sealing their products and prior to them adding the moisture seals and, or moisture packs rather. And it was the driest product I had ever ever touched. It was absolutely mesmerizing. So they have gone 150,000% forward um, by adding these two features. This has really done a good job for the quality of the cannabis as it gets to the consumer. Uh, so well done there, Edison. Now, in terms of the effects, uh, this has been a pretty nice sativa strain so far. It's going to be hard to give the full effects until I go and start doing some dishes. <laughs> but uh, so far, looking pretty darn good. I think we're going to give this guy a three on its effects. It's tasting nice. It's performing well. Um, value. 
value. I don't have to rate. It comes in on its scale. This particular product you can typically find for right around $10 a gram in Alberta. $9.95 some places, $10.95 others. I'm going to call that $10 a gram just because that seems to be the common point. So $10 a gram puts it at the one score on our scale. One out of a maximum of five. So not the greatest score in terms of value, but based on some of these others, it's going to score pretty well. Um, overall, overall. Okay, this product wins a point because of the fact that you get a moisture pack in it. So I've purchased a gram of product, I get another moisture pack. That's fantastic. I can reuse that moisture pack for other stuff. So that wins it some points. Um, it was not the most expensive by any means. So it's in the more reasonably priced single gram products. Pretty good effects. I'm liking this one. I'm usually more of an indica type guy, but um, I'm quite enjoying this this particular strain. It has nice energizing effects, good alertness, good awareness, um, enjoying. So definitely a good thing there. Overall, I'm going to say this guy's about a four. No, it's a three to a four, somewhere in there. It got that moisture pack, so we're going to go for the four. Very nicely done, Edison. All right, now I have to do math. You guys know how this goes. This is always a terrible thing. So I've got three, four, five, uh, eight. I've got 13, 16, 18. I've got 21. I've got 24, 25, 26, 27. I have 31. 31 points. So this is, so far, our best scoring product that we've reviewed. Now, we've only done three, but uh, this has scored very well. 31 points out of a maximum of 54. I was originally doing percentages, but I figured that doesn't actually work because my scale goes way into the negative and all that stuff. So I'm not even going to think about percentages. 31 out of a maximum of 54 points. That is a fantastic result. Um, this product, very, very, very pleased with this Edison Rio Bravo. To be quite honest with you, this has been a heck of a product. Um, looking forward to trying the rest. Going to roll that up into something for later on while I'm working in the yard. But uh, so far, very impressed. 31 out of 54 points for the Edison Rio Bravo. This particular batch, 19.8%. So that's a real nice potent sativa. And packaged on the 3rd of January. So four months old, came with a moisture pack. Points up for that one, guys. Right on. Um, glad you guys are doing something like that. So awesome. Hope everyone has a great time out there. Enjoy your quarantine, what's left of it, because you're opening. And happy 420. Happy smoking, everybody. Take care.